Building cabinets certainly requires a lot of clamps, but most of them aren't specialty clamps. In fact, many of the clamps we use in cabinetry are just these simple F-style clamps. Bessie recently upgraded their TGC clamps, which is a F-style clamp with a clutch action. And apparently they have about 15% more clamping strength, thanks in part to a more robust bar, but also the redesigned clamping jaw. Let's see how they do with a medium duty clamping application like adding this cleat to the back of our cabinet. One real benefit of using clamps to hold the parts together as you attach them with screws is you don't need a whole army of clamps. Just a few clamps will get the job done. And what we'd really like to see from these clamps is to fully close that gap between the cleat and the mid shelf on this cabinet. Let's see how we do. Yeah, it looks great. The clamps are still really small and compact, so they won't get in the way with your drilling operations. And then just one K-body Revo will close things up so I can get those end screws installed. Two more screws here and we'll have this cleat installed. This is really what keeps the cabinet from racking, especially on large cabinets like this. So on the inside of the cabinet, you get a nice seamless look, and we even took the time to edge band that exposed edge. So things are looking pretty good on the cleat in the middle of the cabinet, so we'll move on to adding the toe kick down at the bottom. That's pre-drilled for pocket hole screws, as the other cleat was, but you'll need something with a little deeper reach. So I use uh, cast jaw clamps, and these are a great one. I have a good selection of them, and I reach for them all the time. One more K-Body Rebo will tighten things up so you can add your end screws and finish this cabinet up. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Remember to check out Bessie's new TGC F-Style clamp. I'll pop them down in the description box if you're shopping for new clamps today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.